doesn't love the sound of water in their garden? There's just something magical about it, the tranquility it can bring. And you know, you don't have to have a large fountain like we have over here, a pond that we installed. You can actually have small water features that can yield the same results. You don't have to have a lot of space to have a water feature in your home and garden. Now this is one that you can buy that's pre-made. All you do is add the water and the gravel, quite literally. But what if you applied just a little imagination and maybe wanted to do a fountain that expressed your own personal style? Let's take a look at a few. You know, Chris, it's been fun getting crazy and creative with these water features. Yeah, there's a lot of different <laughs> things we can do. I mean, wandering around and just found this old ice cream maker and decided to turn it into a we had, we hadn't used this thing in years. <laughs> so it's it's perfect, I just love it. If you're worried about it leaking, all you have to do is take one of these rubber liners and make sure it's filled in, and then, you know, the ingredients are pretty basic. Right. I mean, we're using some of this uh, river rock that you can buy by the bag. Not that expensive to do, and uh, a pump inside, and we're ready to turn this thing on. Yeah, let's, let's give it a try. Now, the size pump that you used here in this one is what size? This 185? It's about 185 gallon an hour pump, just something small. Right. Uh, just to, again, create that sound of water. And look at this one, an ordinary clay pot. Took a, just a plain clay pot, some epoxy, a two-part epoxy that we molded and stuffed into the bottom of it to, to block up the hole. Placed a, a brick, or a, we, in this case, we used another small terracotta pot upside down put the pump on top and added some water lettuce and now we've got a little water garden and a little, again, small decks, patios, uh, balconies. Yeah. And look at this. Yeah, again, you know, <laughs> we're wandering around the, uh, the farm and here we find an old wash tub and an yeah. old watering can that <laughs> right. galvanized watering cans we don't see used as too much anymore, I don't think. Well, uh, now this is when I thought you got really creative in the way that you attach the watering can to the wash tub. Yeah, we just ran to the hardware store and we found a 12 inch piece of galvanized pipe, a couple of washers or nuts from uh, electrical department, ran our tubing up through here off of the, uh, the pump. Again, we're using about a 200 gallon an hour pump on this. Right. And uh, a couple of uh, clamps with self-tapping screws. We could even later on add a light. We've got LED, there's LED lights that you could put a light in here so at night yeah. it's illuminated. It adds and, so much, doesn't it? Yeah, with that water movement in the metal, the, the shimmer off the metal would be really pretty to see that light uh, at night. Three different styles here. But the piece de la results <laughs> has to be this over here. I just love what you've done with this. But Chris, this is the one where I think you really knocked the ball out of the park. We took the metal wash tub, built a frame behind it just out of scrap wood we found. Right. Covered it with some of uh, a pond liner that we had left over from one of your ponds. Now let's um, talk about the, the water source itself because across the top here you have a horizontal bar with a series of, it's perforated so you get this constant flow of water, the wall of water. Right, we just took PVC and a can of black spray paint, drilled holes in it where every square was gonna fall so you'd have water running down each square. Yeah, I see that, right. And uh, attached it with a pipe hanger across the top, connecting to our pump that sits down inside. Very creative, my friend. Well, thank you, and like I say, it's, it's just look around, see what you've got at your own, in your home, and you can be able to develop any kind of a fountain. Yep, as Use long as you've got something that'll hold water, you can go from there. Right. Yeah, excellent.